Hello, everyone. Learning how to merge low RRA models can be challenging, especially when using Google Kala. But don't worry, if you're interested in stable diffusion and low RRA training, we've got you covered. In this E2 video, we'll teach you how to effectively merge low RRA models on Google Colab in just a few simple steps. So, if you want to enhance your low RRA training and stable diffusion skills, stay tuned, and let's get started. In the last video, we talked about how to merge different low models in your computer. If you have not watched this video yet, you can find the link here. And in the description below. Many people ask me how to do it on Google Colab. In this video, I will show you how to do it. So you can do it anywhere for free. Before we dive into today's topic, we want to take a moment to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. Are you ready? Okay, we will use this notebook today. You can find the link in the description below. First, we need to choose to use the GPU runtime. And then we connect the runtime. We can now run the notebook. We first clone the SD script repository. We press the play button here to run it. We're finished running. You can see a tick here. At that point, you should be able to find the SD scripts folder here. The second step is to install PyTorch. Press this button and run. It takes some time to finish. Okay, it's done. We move to the next cell. We are going to install the requirements. Press this button to run. Finish. Like in the last video, we download three low models to start. I will download the Taylor Swift lore model, and the Kirsten Dunst lore model, and the Scarlett Johnson lore model. Press this button to download all of them. Done. We can see the lore models here when we refresh it. Like last time, we will run the script to merge the lore models. We are going to merge the Kirsten Dunst lore model and the Taylor Swift lore model. We will save the output here. The ratios are 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Press the play button to run. Done. Refresh. You can see the output LoRa model is located here. Okay, if you want to merge three LoRa models, how to do it? We need to specify three models to the script as input. We set three ratios as input. Set the save to path. Press the play button to run. Finish. You can see the merged lore model here. What if you want to use your own lore model? It's easy. You upload your LoRa model to call up. You drag and drop your LoRa model here. It will start the upload process. It will take some time here. 
As we are still waiting, we can prepare the input for the script. How to do it? We uncomment these blocks of codes here. Press the control slash to uncomment. Copy the file path and paste to the input parameters areas. We need one more. I will choose the merge lore model in the previous step. Copy the file path and paste to the input parameters areas. I set the output name this time as my own lore. Finally, the upload is completed. Refresh. Should be 144 megabyte. We run the script. on. We're fresh. You can find your lore model here. You can now download the file to your computer. If you're enjoying this content so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Your support means a lot to us, and it helps us keep creating valuable content for you. After you have downloaded the LoRa models, copy and paste them to the Stable Diffusion LoRa model folder. I already set up the prompts this time. I will use XYC plot to render the images. We will input three models here. I will use two seeds. We should have six images in total. Let generate. Okay, this is the result. The first column is Kirsten Dunst in the Taylor Swift Laura model. The second column is our own Laura model. The last column is the merged one. The result is really cool. I love it so much. This is our observation. The merged output lore model can be merged again with other lore model. The combination is unlimited. Okay, now everyone can merge lore models in Google Call up. So don't wait, find the notebook below and try it for yourself. If you have any cool stuff, let us know in a comment below. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Stable Diffusion and lore training, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I will put up the other videos soon. You can also find all the models and images in my Patreon account. The link can be found in the description. Thank you and see you in the next video.